back onto some updates from the Asian Games now. Well, star drive flicker Sandeep Singh continued his goal scoring spree as India defeated Japan 3 2 for their fourth consecutive win and finished atop the points table in Group E of the Asian Games in the men's hockey event. India will now take on the second placed team for the Group A, the winners of the match between China or Malaysia later in the day. That will be Group A in the finals, semi finals of the, on the 24th of November, while Pakistan will be up against the formidable Korea. And shooting and track events seem to be India's bag of gold. Delivering India's fourth yellow medal is the top Indian long-distance runner Preja Sridharan clocking a personal best timing in the women's 10,000 meters final to clinch the country's fourth gold medal at the Asian Games. Preja, who had won, who had finished fifth in both the 5,000 meters and the 10,000 meters in the 2006 Games, raised a performance to give India a flying start. And making it an even bigger golden day, Ranjan Sondi won, won the individual gold medal in the men's double trap event while host China took the team title. Now to some cricket update now. Well, it was an early sunset at Nagpur, leaving the umpires to decide that's enough play for the day. India ended the day with 99 ahead of having 8 wickets remaining, another day of dominance for the Indian home side. And as of uh, much importance for Indian fans is that Tendulkar has moved to 57 more than halfway through to his 50th test century. Gambit looked more confident in his half century that he has in previous innings in the series and the old firm of Dravid and Tendulkar extended the advantage with a solid partnership of over 110 runs. The score posted by the Indian side on the day two of the third test sits at 292 for two. 285 for two. Well, India is participating in the World Asian Paintball Championship for the second year in a row, but there are concerns amongst players that there is not enough support from the government. Sudarshan has this report. With few or no sponsors, paintball players in India have no option but to manage the expenses themselves. The World Asia Paintball Championship opens in Malaysia on November 25th. You could spend anywhere between uh, 30,000 to a lakh and a half, like a couple of us have spent. Our guns alone cost one lakh and you have to add a few things to it. So you could invest anything from 30,000 to 1.5 lakhs on your gear. And this World Cup Asia, your travel, your stay, your paintball expenses, everything will be at least 35, 40,000 ahead. Definitely there's a pinch because definitely we are paying uh, you know, from our pockets for all this equipment and this is a very expensive sport. Okay, uh, So basically what happens is end of the day when we are participating in these kind of tournaments, I mean World Cup Asia and uh, other tournaments you know, across the world, uh, the experience what we gain from that, it's priceless. At the championship, India is participating in Division 3 and 4. But when compared to the United States and Malaysia, the quality of Indian players is very low. Other teams from across the world are horses and we are donkeys at the moment. That's, you know, that's a bad way of putting it, but we have just started. We are just uh, a year old into the game. These people in the US are like professionals. There are teams which are fully sponsored. It's like how you have a cricket team in India, you have a similar paintball team in the US. So they are way ahead of us. They are. They spend millions. It's a billion dollar business in the US. The bigger concern among paintball players in India is the absence of a full-fledged association to back the sport. But a group of players say they are trying to get affiliation for the game from the Indian Olympic Committee. In Chennai with Sudarshan, Jason Tosh for NDTV Hindu. And while moving on, one of the most uh, awaited performances in the Hindu Music Review Nelma Fest saw a packed auditorium on Saturday. Our reporter Shruti takes you to day six of the festival that had Earth Sing bringing to Chennai a mix of local music from around the world mixed with a touch of electronic groove. Breaking barriers is what they do best. Earth Sing's beautiful amalgamation of sounds resonated in the auditorium as the audience sat spellbound. Business class refugees, Earth Sings collaborative project, which is the music Patrick and Yotam spun out on their laptops, is what the audience got to hear. Tonight we're going to play a kind of a blend between electronic music and folk music. What uh, usually we do in Earth Sync and KLG, we're trying to break borders all the time between music. 
With a simple yet brilliant stage setup, it wasn't just a treat to the ears but also a treat for the eyes. Adding to this were fabulous visual effects and a surprise element, a dancer who accompanied the musicians. The team's perfect coordination and sync in every track reflected the hard work and commitment that went behind the scenes to put this show together. Uh, we started practice about uh, serious practice about uh, five days ago, but we've been practicing uh, this type of music for quite a few years now. Preparation has been going on uh, since last night, so we've been on stage since last night. We're really excited. It's going to be amazing. The global music reached out to every kind of audience and got them tapping their feet to the grooves. This performance was a complete and an overwhelming experience that captivated the senses. In Chennai, Shruti for NDTV Hindu. Well, today is the 90th birth anniversary of the late Chemini Ganeshan. A book and a DVD of the biography of the Kadal Mannan of the Tamil film industry was released by Chief Minister Karunanidhi today. And here is a musical treat for all your fans of the Kadal Mannan from NDTV Hindu. Thanks for watching and good night. பாட்டு பாடவா பார்த்து பேசவா பாடம் சொல்லவா பறந்து செல்லவா பால்லிலாவை போல வந்த பாவை அல்லவா நானும் பாத கேடி ஓடி வந்த காளை அல்லவா பாட்டு பாடவா பார்த்து பேசவா பாடம் சொல்லவா பறந்து செல்லவா